Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video, and today we're checking out the Asphalt e-bike from Monk Wheel. In this video, you're gonna get my complete review after checking this e-bike out for several weeks. Let's jump right in. This is my third or fourth e-bike from Monk Wheel, and this one does not disappoint. This is an asphalt in orange, and it is beautiful. You can see this lovely crank set here. I would say that I think from my first mock wheel video, they have definitely stepped up their game in terms of the fit and finish and the quality. You can see here the battery pack integrated in the frame and matching the same color just looks beautiful. This is a class two e-bike, so it ships class two ready to ride and rock and roll on the road. And this thing has a lot of power. Comes with the front and rear fenders, comes with the rear rack, a lot of versatility in this e-bike. Now with all this power, you do get hydraulic disc brakes like I just displayed there, and that does provide plenty of stopping power. Now this is a full-size e-bike, I'm about 6'1", 200 pounds, and this fits me perfectly. Super easy to hop on and ride. If you're looking for an e-bike to commute to work or commute to school, this might be the one for you. Super comfortable, the fenders, front lights, rear integrated tail lights, all of those add to rider safety. When you're out on the road, you're gonna notice the disc brakes. You're gonna notice this super bright color, which I do like. It goes back to that rider safety piece. You do have a front suspension, so a front fork suspension on this e-bike and no suspension in the rear. If you're primarily gonna be on paved paths like you see here, this is gonna be completely fine for you. The kickstand is tucked closer to the rear axle so it doesn't get in the way of a crank set if you are moving it around with the kickstand down. Instead of using the kickstand on the ground to store the bike, you can use one of these steady racks, which I actually purchased for myself. The bike will actually fit on the steady rack even with the fender. They have special fender steady rack. Of course, the link will be below, but this is really ingenious and I really like how it's able to go behind the fender. They do also have fat tire ones and I do have a couple of those as well, but this bar is way too thick to support a fender. So that's why most e-bike reviews that you see, I don't have the front fender if it is a fat tire e-bike because it can't be stored. They do fold flat and they also swivel, which makes it super nice. This is definitely the most efficient way you can stagger these like you see here in the, my garage. By far, these are the best wall hanging bike solutions. If you wanna pick up some of these, click my Amazon affiliate link right below the like button. The controls of this e-bike is very similar to most of the e-bikes that I have tested on this channel. On the left-hand side, you have your front brake and you have a nice thumb throttle and you also have your controller that allows you to move the pedal assist up and down. You have your center display, which is full color and easy to see in direct sunlight. On the right-hand side, you have your rear brake and you have a really nice thumb and index finger shifter where you can easily shift up and down. I really like this style. You have seven gears in the rear, which makes it really easy to find the perfect gear that works for you depending on your pedal assist level or no pedal assist at all. Overall, I'm really impressed with how well this is built. I know I've said that once before, so I tested out one of their basalts early on and that was one of their first e-bikes they've done and they've really come a long ways from that one. Also on Mock Wheels website, they have so many other accessories. Like you can see this bag here that can fit on the rear rack. So if you're commuting and you need a bag, they have so many options. This is a waterproof bag that has a cup holder storage and can easily mount to any rack. If you need additional storage or you don't want something mounted on the top, you can get this waterproof bag that actually attaches to the side. So this is a really good option if you need waterproof storage and this thing is just really massive. It's nice that it folds over and does become waterproof and then can easily mount onto the side of the included rear rack. This pull handle here easily detaches it from the bike. So if you need to take it into a store, if you wanna use this as your reusable bag at the grocery store, this would work really well. Also, if you don't like the seat, although I thought the seat that came with it was super comfortable, or if you want increased rider safety, you can get this massive seat. I mean, this seat is huge. It's like you're gonna be sitting on a sofa. And it also has an integrated tail light in there that has little LEDs on it that will flash red. Also something that they do have on their website 
is a phone mount. So if you are gonna be using this for commuting or for longer distances and you wanna have your phone to give directions or something like that, this is an actually a really good phone mount that fits a variety of size phones. You can see how it kind of, you pull it down once it's mounted on and it slides all the pieces out. You set your phone in the middle and then it easily attaches. That's a really nice option if you need that style of phone mount. Also on Mock Wheels website, they even have a bike cover. So if you're gonna be parking this and it's gonna be snowing or raining, you can get a bike cover to cover your bike up. Of course, bike locks are also on their website and helmets. So this helmet is actually really comfortable. I did have a chance to test it out. It does have a little hidden LED in the adjustment in the back. And just note that it is branded with the Mock Wheel logo. On this asphalt e-bike, you can get a front mounted rack, which makes it really nice to store extra items. Now in between your legs, you can get a cup holder, of course. If the front fork suspension isn't enough for you and you want more suspension, you can actually get a suspension seat post. So that mounts to the seat itself and provides shock absorber. So it's gonna feel a lot like having a rear suspension. A nice option. You can actually put this huge basket they actually have two different sizes of this, and I think this larger one is for the rear, and then they have a smaller one that can mount to the front. Overall, this is a really nice e-bike. The fit and finish, the quality, the hydraulic disc brakes, the thumb throttle, this really is a nice e-bike and makes a lot of sense, especially at the price point. Coming in right now at $14.99, on sale from $17.99, so 1500 bucks, this is a really, really nice e-bike. One of the most important features on this e-bike that a lot of people are switching to now is the torque sensor over the cadence sensor. The torque sensor allows a more natural feeling of the e-bike when you are pedaling versus a cadence sensor, you get that lunging feeling when the motor kicks on and off based on the revolutions of the crank set. The torque sensor measures the amount of force that you're putting into the pedals so the harder you push, the harder the bike motor works. Huge upgrade there with the torque sensor. Overall, I think at 1500 bucks, so if you can catch this one on sale, it is a fantastic deal. Click the link down below in the description to get the best possible deal. Oftentimes I do have a referral code and a discount code that you are able to use. All right, there you guys have it. That is my full review of this e-bike. If you're interested in purchasing one of these Monk Wheel e-bikes, Click the affiliate link down below in the description to support this channel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. You don't really want to set me free. But if I lay down